it's Adventure Goat 81. Today we are going to go on a different type of hike. It is going to be my 29th hike in my adventure of 40 before 40. But today I am taking my family, my daughter and my son. We are going to go into the National Forest and we are going to go find a Christmas tree today. Apparently my son is ready for a nap. <laughs> I just woke him up. I am looking forward to a good adventure. So see you out there on the trails. Are you getting warm? Get ready to go? You sure you don't want the long johns? He can't hear me. Why is it I have 10 pairs of single gloves and no matches? Warm? What are you looking for in there? Socks. <laughs> we don't have matching socks either, huh? <laughs> So we have a few options when it comes to areas to look. What you do here is you buy these. This is a Christmas tree permit. And what they do is they give you a map to also research online. And Setting up the moon. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready to go get a Christmas tree? All right. I think I'm supposed to go on the other side of the highway. I put this glove on wrong. Which, it's very is, uncomfortable. It, is it backwards? No. Maybe it's inside out. So we're looking for exit 38. Somebody on Facebook said, hey, this is where we went. Here's a pinpoint. And so I pinned it on the map so I know exactly where to go, in, in other words, to get on the forest road to go find a tree. park here. I wonder if they're also getting trees. So the area on this road between the road and the highway, which would be this side, is National Forest Land. Um, doesn't look like there's many tree type trees here. Maybe. I get to help with chopping down a tree. Well, if you can find one. You can carry this, you can carry the axe. I'm just kidding, we brought a saw. No, I want you can carry the axe. I also have my saw here. All right, need your help, Robert, to help us find one. I can't even tell it's you. Look at you. Your face. All right, let's see what we can find, guys. I have power. Robert, let me know if you spot one. Why are you cold? Yeah. Not long. A little one. <laughs> Charlie Brown tree. The river. It's really pretty. Not seeing any pony trees. Maybe there's more over here. <laughs> is that too tall? Is that above 15 feet? It looks. What? That does not look like a Christmas tree. What? I don't know. This one right here. No way. That is not the most of family Christmas tree. All right. Well, let's walk a little bit further. I see trees on the other side of the river. I'm gonna fall in the river. I'm not gonna like that. I had to go back. Let's go up here. There's no way to cross the river. Let's go up here and look. No, it's not right here. There isn't. Plus, we need to be 150 feet away from the river anyway. This one, Allie. This looks perfect. It looks like it's less than 15 feet. You just gotta come in here. Yeah. I know there's some branches in the way. And thorns. Come on, you can do it. We found our tree. 
don't get how you don't. Right here, make sure you cut it close to the ground. That's one of the rules. Cut it close to the ground. So get down there. You need help starting it? Nope. Honey, I think we're good. Just need to push it. Ready? What's done? Timber! Uh, I think it's a little more. Yeah, no kidding. I'll have to cut the top off. Go girl, you got this. Is it going through? Use the leverage. <sighs> Dragging a tree out of the woods. It's hard. <sighs> Coming, Allie. Just gotta get past this big tree. Whew. I think we hiked a little farther than I wanted to. Okay, so now she has to find a way to get through all of this with that tree. And she did it. Good luck, Mama. Okay, so made it back to the car and Mama's over here. All right, congratulations, Mother! You made it. It's raining. It's wet. All right, so what are your plans now, Mama? Uh, turn it down a little bit. Stick it on top and drive home. Go slay a family Christmas tree. Yeah, that's way too tall for our house. <laughs> I think she's gone crazy. Okay, so now my mom is going to put the tree which is still like seriously weird on top of our car. Oh, and by the way, she says this is a Charlie Brown tree. Yeah, this is crazy. I still say we go and take our chances and buy an actual tree. <laughs> Anybody else want to bet that the tree's gonna win? Tree versus my mom. Who do you think is going to win? Definitely going to be the tree. Wow, she's going to sit on top of the car. Robert, she's sitting on top of the car! What are you doing, Mama? I'm trying to get off the car now. Do you see this? <laughs> How are we gonna do this? Don't ask me. You. I mean, I wanted to go out and get a tree, but I didn't want it to be weird. exactly how I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Well, if we lose the tree, we lose the tree. <laughs> I think it's strapped down enough, hopefully. Okay, it's time to tackle this thing. Make it so it's in the house. <laughs> the only cut I needed. The others I'll trim. I don't think it fits, Robert. <laughs> it's a good height, though. Perfect height. <laughs> don't tell me how I'm using fiskers. Okay, so it's for the ornaments. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Robert! Mama's crazy! How's it going, Mama? Going! Yeah, I want to make this thing into a Christmas tree. So this jumbled mess is going to be our Christmas tree, huh? So how are you gonna get down from there? You know. You gonna keep hanging? What? You gonna keep hanging? Oh yeah, I am. But this is starting to drop like crazy. Oh. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked our adventure into the National Forest to cut down our very own Christmas tree. Going into the National Forest to get the Christmas tree, cutting it down and making it into something rather spectacular. I would say this is a Christmas tree that I will not forget this year. <laughs> Don't forget if you haven't yet, hit subscribe down below so you can follow my other adventures. And you can also connect with me on social media. I am AdventureGoat81 on Instagram and Facebook. So until next time, see you on the trail. It's time to wrap some presents.